The man accused of driving his car into a Rancho Cordova park, allegedly threatening to harm park goers, has been arrested. Video obtained by Fox 40 shows the man running over curbs just feet from where families were gathering over the weekend. Fox 40's Zach Boeto has the story tonight after speaking with the sheriff's office. <laughs> The man behind the wheel of this 2012 Honda Insight is now in custody after driving his car through Heron Landing Park in Rancho Cordova, nearly hitting park goers as he allegedly yelled racial slurs and threatened to shoot and bomb them. Well, it's horrific. It shocks the conscience of that community. That community in Rancho Cordova is one of the most diverse communities we have, I mean, I'd say in the country. Every walk of life there, so it's a great place to be. And to have something like that happen, I mean, obviously shocked the community. There were lots of families at the park on Monday, and many of them shocked to hear something like this happened. This surprised me a very lot because this is a very nice park and protective park, and it's, it's supposed to be very safe. Robert Avery of Orangevale is the man accused of driving the car. The sheriff's office still working to find out why he was in Rancho Cordova in the first place. Noise, noise, noise. While the investigation is still in its early stages, the Council of American Islamic Relations calling Monday for the sheriff's office to charge Avery with a hate crime. You can tell that it's just families there. Um, and so these folks are kind of just targeted, um, really just for how they looked. And uh, it, was, it was really scary, I think, from what you can see in the video. Um, but we're glad that no one was hurt. The sheriff's office said Avery allegedly caused a disturbance at a liquor store just hours before the incident at the park on Sunday. They also confirmed he is a registered sex offender. Officials say he's now facing multiple charges. Right now, the same things we were talking about yesterday, uh, assault with a deadly weapon, obviously trying to run him over uh, with, with a vehicle. So that's going to be a big one. Criminal threats uh, with the threats that he was making at them. And of course, the hate crime statute because uh, he was yelling racial slurs. So this incident appears to be very racially motivated. We're obviously going to be pushing for a hard sentence on this fellow, um, making sure that he continues to not threaten public safety, not threaten the conscience, and not threaten the well being of folks that are around. Zach Boetto, Fox 49.